car is a good uh, example. When you are uh, buying the car, you don't need to uh, the car engine in detail. But you have to know that uh, how to drive. Okay? Otherwise, you cannot use the, uh, the, uh, the car. The same as in the uh, laser. You have to understand the, uh, not, not laser physics in detail, but you have to know that the characteristics of the laser. Dermatologists know that they are the characteristics of the skin. So the, the, that information, the characteristics of the skin and the characteristics of the, uh, the laser combine together and then you can find uh, some solution how to treat the, uh, the skin disease. That's why the dermatologist should know not physics but the, the characteristics of the laser. We have to understand the, uh, the laser tissue interaction. We have to know the, uh, the, what is the wavelength uh, which we used and what is the, uh, the perspiration, and what is the energy, what is the power. Okay, this is the, uh, the main characteristic of the, uh, the laser. In the skin-wise, what kind of the, uh, the disease we have? Is the dermal disease or the epidermal disease? Depend on the, uh, the location, we have to choose the, uh, the energy and the wavelengths because uh, we have to know that the, uh, the, how much penetration depth we need because they are all the disease are located different uh, level. We have to choose the, the wavelengths first because the penetration depth is dependent on the wavelengths and then energy. When we increase the energy and then we can uh, uh, increase the penetration depth. And second one is the how much energy we use. That one is very uh, important things uh, to avoid the side effect. Main things of the side effect which uh, when you are using the, the laser is burn. Normally uh, in our skin, we have the three kinds of the chromophore. First one is melanin, second one is hemoglobin, third one is uh, uh, water. If you want to treat the, uh, the pigmentation, we have to think about the, uh, the uh, hemoglobin absorption and the melanin absorption, not the, uh, uh, not the water absorption. So you have to find the, which disease is located. Is the dermal side or the, the abdominal side? According to the depths, you can choose the, the wavelengths. If you want to the oblate the skin, the main chromophore is water, so you have to choose the wavelengths. Normally, what you have uh, for the, uh, the ablation is uh, 2.94 uh, micrometer wavelengths uh, is the albumia, and then 10.6 micrometer is the CO2 laser. So you have to choose which one is better for the treatment. This is very important things. When you treat some kind of the, the, the disease, you have to choose the wavelengths and then perspiration, the energy, and then absorption coefficient. When you treat the, the pigmentation, and then you have, to, you have to look at the absorption coefficient of the melanin. And then when you do the treatment with the vascular vein, you have to look at the uh, hemoglobin absorption coefficient. Or when you ablate the skin, you have to think about the, uh, the absorption curve of the, uh, the water. This is very, very important things.